Hey everybody, it's Jer. Um, you have to excuse my like quarantine hair and uh, beard. Uh, <laughs> it's a mess and I have like it's long so I've been wearing a cap so it's kind of flat because of the cap. Um, but I want to share a story. Um, some of my friends helped with uh, getting an Airbnb here in California uh, for a little bit. Um, well, they, they sent money. I could do whatever I wanted with it. And I, I thought about doing like a cheap motel, but then I decided not to do a cheap motel. And instead I was like, I haven't done Airbnb in a long time. I should do Airbnb. So I decided to look on Airbnb, found a place, local place, um, which is pretty affordable. It's like $32 a night before like all the fees. After the fees, it ends up being like 40 something a night, but still a lot less expensive than like staying in a motel. Anyway, I got here and checked in and everything, came to the room and walked in and the smell, it smelled like someone like took a like really, really bad shit and, and just left it in the bathroom. So I was like, okay, this is not good. It really smells really bad. So I was like, I'll go to the bathroom door. And so went to the bathroom and open it up. Right now I have, um, looks like I'm like trying to show you my butt, but there's a towel down there um, because I got in here. <laughs> it smells so bad. And I was like, uh, I looked and there's like nothing. And so I was like, what in the world? And it just, it smells so bad in here. It is just horrid. Um, and so, so bad. Uh, it's good. I, I, I figured out that it's coming from the toilet, um, the drain there, and then the drain there. And it's like coming and like seeping out of there. And it just smells so horrible. If you've ever um, lived somewhere that there's like a well, it's like a sulfur smell. It smells like sulfur, which smells like rotten eggs or just rank crap <sighs> and so so um so yeah so it wasn't because somebody had pooped in the or left shit in the um thing it was because it's just natural it's coming well it's not natural no, nothing like that's really horrible it's coming out of there so um the first the first night I slept with it and it was just like so bad and I didn't think to put the towel down there so it was just like coming in the room and like I woke up throughout the, all the night had a headache I was like this is not like I can't do this so um, what I was like I was like I'm gonna go to I'll go to Walmart or whatever and see if I can't find air fresheners and so I got um, an air freshener there air freshener there so that um, while I'm sleeping I don't have any of the smell air freshener over there, two air fresheners in the bathroom, and then another one over in this other corner. Um, but it, it is just, like with the air fresheners, it's it's better. With having that block down there, it's better, um, and it helps. And it's like, so I, I looked at the reviews. Let me get down here. <laughs> um, I looked at the reviews, and all of them are like, okay, so... Lauren says, Van's Place was a great location for us to get to Disneyland. Somewhat small, but it was comfortable bed. Nothing about the smell. Van's Place is a nice, quiet area. The room has all of the that one would need for a short trip. I recommend bringing HDMI cord. Connect your laptop to the TV. You don't want to watch cable, um, which there's no cable in here. Um, the room is a little cramped due to the size of the bed. The bed is very comfortable. The walls are very thin, so you will hear what's happening above around you inside the house, which is true. But if you leave this air conditioner thing on, it breaks out. It breaks up, uh, stops the noise. Um, nothing bad to say at all. Responds quickly, clean, and safe. Every other review says something about children making noise. What do you expect? They are children. Children do what children do. Play. So, of course, there's noise. Barely noticed it. Would recommend 100%. Thank you, Van. And so all of these are like pretty positive. Like it's not bad, like other than noise, which I could hear noise, like even with that, but it, like once you turn that on, it's really loud. So it kind of, you don't hear any of it, but nothing about the really, really horrible smell. Um, 
The room is relatively nice, offers a good place to sleep for a night or two. Bathroom is sufficient enough, but the space can be a little tight. If you like soft mattresses, it's very soft. The mattress is super soft. It's very nice. Um, what I don't understand is why none of these people were leaving a review about, um, about any of this, like about any of the smell that is just so horrible. Like, like it's almost like it's bad for your, well, it has to be bad for your health because it like causes it, like for me, it causes a headache. So, um, it has to be bad for your health. So you would think that somebody would be like, the, the smell is just horrible. I can't, I couldn't live through it, blah, blah, blah. Um, but no, like any of those first reviews, and that's what I looked at to begin with, and I was like, you know what, everybody said it's okay other than noise, I can sleep through noise, it'll be fine. But then like, after I was here, I was like, there has to be a review somewhere, and once you make it to, um, uh, second page, at the very bottom of second page, let me go back here, it, uh, Come on. <laughs> the very bottom of the second page. Overall, it's a good place to stay. Come to bed and you get your own bathroom. However, some of the previous reviews were accurate. The bathroom gets a slightly sewer smell. It is not slightly. It is an extreme sewer smell. And it's hor it smells like sewer rat. It's disgusting. I don't understand why people just don't leave honest reviews. But then I think about it in like Airbnb or these other review places, places that you use or whatever, and you have a review system connected to it. Not only do the people who are staying there leave a review, but the person you stayed with leaves a review on you staying with them. So I guess because of that, people um, don't necessarily leave like complete reviews and details about everything. And so, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> um, it's nice that like, I don't want to, I'm the type that doesn't like to complain. I will write a review whenever I write the review, I'll, I'll be honest in it, but um, I am very grateful that I have a bed to sleep in, that um, a place to shower, uh, there's a TV to watch TV on, which is great if you have like Netflix or whatever. Um, and so it's a safe place and it's a place to get clean, although you're cleaning in a shower that really stinks. The water doesn't smell bad when it's coming out, but out of the drain it smells bad, so there's that I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't understand. I, I think it's because people are afraid of getting a negative review back just for like being honest. Um, but I'm thankful for it. I just wish that it was mentioned. And for the price, would I, if it was like all I could afford, which was basically all I could afford, um, I would stay here again. Like it's not a big deal. Um, I would still think it would, should be cheaper, but also, I don't, I don't know, this probably isn't the price for it like every day. Um, because of the pandemic and everything going on with uh, COVID-19, um, motels and Airbnbs are a little bit cheaper, I would imagine. And um, so I imagine this is probably more expensive. I couldn't imagine coming here on a family vacation or whatever and going to like, um, Knott's Berry Farm is right up the road, literally right up the road. Um, and then Disneyland is not too far away either, so... Um, I couldn't imagine coming here on a vacation and staying here in this smell like I would be miserable, but it's, it's affordable. So I guess there's give and take. Um, this room is basically a garage that a part of a garage that's been just remodeled into a, a room. And I wonder if they didn't originally plan for it to be like roommates, like someone stay here like nonstop, but then it, I would not be able to live here nonstop. I could do it for a few nights or a week or whatever, which is what I've done. I stay here for like eight days, but um, I could not do this nonstop. There's no way. <laughs> it just smells. <laughs> it's so gross. It just. <sighs> and I know that people have it so much worse in other parts of the world, and and I'm just grateful that I had it. Um, tomorrow, tonight's my last night here, and then there's a whole new plan. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to need probably more help. If anybody can help, please help. <laughs> I hate asking for help, but it's just what I'm in right now. It's the position I'm in. Um, but making the most of it, doing what I can. Um, turning the air conditioner off, I turned it off to make this video. And already, if you can see my face, it's like turning red because it gets 
hot in here. The bathroom gets really, really hot. I don't know why, but it gets extremely hot. So, um, But yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. I am probably going to read a little bit, do some writing, which I've been working on slowly but surely. It's really hard to write whenever you don't have a stable place to stay. I really, I'm determined, determined. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm determined to get a novel done. I want to get, I've had a story for a long time. I don't have all the details of it, but I had like a basis for a story for a long time. Two different stories actually, and I want to write those and get them done. So um, hopefully I have some more balance and, and I can actually, whenever you're having to worry nonstop about if you're gonna have somewhere to sleep every night, it gets difficult. So, but slowly and surely I'll get it done. Okay, I love you all. Wanted to share this experience. I know, annoying, stupid, like <laughs> sewer rat bedroom, Airbnb, but um, yeah, one, it's part of the story. It's part of my experience. I wanted to share it. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you soon. Okay, love you. Mwah. Bye.